Candy Cane Lane is known for its festive decor this time of year. I spoke to residents who welcome everyone to come enjoy the holiday display. It's a very festive time. Holiday decorations are going up all over St. Louis as the holiday season nears. We've definitely, you know, taken the lights up to another notch. For residents in South City, like Kate Billings, that means welcoming visitors to enjoy the holiday sights. She grew up two blocks away from Candy Cane Lane and still calls the area home. And in addition to our black, there's several other blacks that have started doing it. So now we have Snowflake Street, there is Angel Avenue, there's Reindeer Row, I believe they call it. So lots of other streets now have started coming together and coordinating some decorations and putting out a little bit extra. The festive display is set up for people to enjoy. It's also set up to raise money to help those in need. Residents give out candy canes and visitors can donate. They can even donate digitally through Venmo. The money supports a variety of local causes. It's going to one of the smaller local charities in St. Louis, and it's a different charity each night, so we do help spread out um, throughout all of St. Louis all the help that we can give. The kids in the neighborhood get a full perspective of what the holiday season means, too. Chip Billings is one of the neighborhood kids who had the chance to help out. For our street, I get to go out and hand out um, candy canes and get donations for um, different hospitals and charities. Chip says seeing the lights and all the visitors appreciate their hard work is great, but it's the reason they're doing it that makes it all worth it. It makes me feel good about um, helping people in need. The sights can be seen from your car if you'd like to drive through, but the closer we get to Christmas, you might see more traffic. It's not often you'll hear a neighborhood resident welcome traffic, but for Candy Cane Lane during this time of year, it's okay. Kate also had this suggestion for when you go. We always try to encourage people to park and walk. You can see a lot more of each house as you uh, can slowly stroll down the street, avoid some of the traffic, and <laughs> have some fun with your family. In South City, Ty Hawkins, Fox 2 News.